CCTV Camera World is proud to provide support for products purchased from our website. If you purchased your product from another vendor, please contact the vendor you purchased from for further assistance. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can export recorded video from your DVR or NVR using the PC software. So I've already added the DVR to the software. This is a follow-up video to the playback uh, video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to actually export those video files to your computer's hard drive so you can then copy them or give them to the authorities uh, if you want to post on whatever social media you use. Anyway, long story short, you're first going to go to the storage playback. And here is where you can use the clip button here on the playback controls to make a clip and then export that clip to your computer or the other way you can do it is by going back to the home page and then either doing the by time slice by event or record backup i'm just going to do the record backup button for now and then it's going to take you to the record management page so there's storage playback and record management pages these are the two pages which will allow you to actually export video from your dvr or nvr to your computer so the first thing to really look at is going to be the backup path button here. So this is in the record management screen. Again, I got here from the home page by clicking record backup and then record management and then backup path. So this is going to be the backup settings for the software. So you can choose which folder you want it to record to, which folder you want it to backup to. Again, we're going to backup files in this instance this record folder that's for if you're doing a live playback and you're trying to record a video clip or a snapshot and that, that it'll actually save the snapshots to this capture folder so again this is just your backup or if you're doing a live view and you want to save those files these are the settings that you're setting here the playback source you're going to want to leave it on from network device as it's reaching over the network from the software to your dvr or nvr to pull the footage so leave that alone as I said, you can change these file or folder locations. I'm gonna leave them as default for this video. And then last but not least, there is the backup file format. So here we have AVI, DAT, and MP4. So AVI and MP4 are gonna be your two most common video formats. If you're familiar with DAT and you know you need it for your project, then you're gonna to wanna to select DAT. If you're unsure, then AVI or MP4 is going to be your best file format. For the sake of this video, I'm just gonna leave it on the default AVI. And then I'm gonna click apply. If you wanna choose a maximum file size you can, I'm just gonna leave it as the default 512 megabytes. So I've set it to AVI. I'm going to click the apply button it's going to save that successfully so now we can get back to our record management or our storage playback tabs and to get there we can close out of the local configuration tab so i've closed out of that page and now i'm back on the record management page here and the storage playback tab is another tab that i can go to so let's start with the easiest way to export video here I have my office DVR, I've already connected it. I know I have footage on my first channel and I know I have good footage on the 27th. So I'm just gonna hit the search button here and here we can see it's gonna pull up my timeline and I have the motion detection uh, that was recorded on the 27th of May. So I'm just gonna click around 2 p.m. here and let's say that there's some sort of event that I wanna clip around 2 p.m. So I'm gonna go ahead and first hit the backup start time button what this is going to do is start recording this as it's playing from my recorder my DVR or NVR over the network it's going to start recording what it's playing back so while I'm looking at this video it's saving it to a file on my hard drive when I want this video to stop writing this file I'm going to click the backup end time button if you see after I click the backup end time button that this start backup button was able to be clicked. So now that I can click this button, I can back that file up that I've just recorded. So I'm going to click start backup. It's going to take me over to the record management page or record management page. And then we have that clip that I've recorded. It's a 25 second clip. It's been exported 100% progress, that's awesome. And then it gives me the backup path. So here we have a folder on my C drive named backup, and then it's named that folder after my file here. Of course, I haven't named my camera, so it's the default name is device name camera one. 
And then if I want to check where that file is on my computer, I'm going to click the open file position button. What this is going to do is open up a Windows Explorer window, the file explorer. It's going to actually point it to that directory, that C and then backup folder. And then here I have my AVI file. Now you can do with this AVI file whatever you'd like. You can play it back on your computer. You can copy and paste it and make a copy of it. Or you can even put it on a thumb drive. Let's say I had a thumb drive connected to my computer. I could just drag and drop it to that thumb drive. I have a network drive. I could drag and drop it to my network drive here. But a good program to play back these files, if you don't have a playback, you see it wants to use the um, Windows Media Player here. I could double click and open it in Windows Media Player. However, as you see, that did not work, so I do need another program. I'm using VLC Media Player. You can Here's the icon on my desktop, VLC Media Player. But if I want to open this file directly with VLC Media Player, I'm first going to right click, hover over Open With, and then VLC Media Player is listed there. So I can right click, open it with, and here I have my recorded file playing back in VLC Media Player. So that's the first and easiest way to export video. Again, that's using storage playback, clicking the Begin Clip button, and then clicking the end clip button and then clicking the start backup or download clip button. I'm going to pause this video playback and then go back to the record management page. So on the record management page at the top, and I cover this in my playback video, we do have different ways to pull up video. So we have by time slice, we have by event, and then last but not least, you can search the record backup. This again is just going to be a status of the backups that you've done so far. So I'm going to focus on the by event tab. In the playback video, I showed you can search your recorder for events that have happened. I do have motion detection recording on my DVR. So I'm going to search for a motion detection event. I'm going to go back to the 27th of May because I know I have a good motion detection events on that day. So I've just clicked the clock icon here and then adjusted this to say start time May 27th and end time May 27th. So I'm going to click the search button. And here it's going to bring me a list of all of the clips that were detected on motion. So I do have my list of motion detection events that occurred. These hour and a half clips are really, we're on a busy street. So when that motion detection event was detected and then it the recorder was looking for it to end. It never ended because another vehicle was coming in the film or in the video. So then it restarted that timer over again and there was motion happening for a good hour and a half. However, I don't want to download a whole hour and a half of video. So I'm going to focus on the three minute clip here. So there's going to be a playback button where I can preview the clip as it plays in the software or I can back that up. So I'm going to click this download button to back it up. This backup on dev, that means if you have a thumb drive connected to your recorder and you want to back it up to the thumb drive that's currently connected to your DVR or NVR. So I want to do the record backup or record backup button. What that's going to do is then, as you can see here, it's going to begin downloading that clip, that motion detection clip of 3 minutes and 31 seconds to this backup path. So we still have that C backup path on my hard drive. If I wanted to open up this clip's file location, I can click the open file position. Here we can see we have both clips on the hard drive here. If you want to check on which clip was just recently updated, you would click the view button and then click details. So that's going to tell you this clip was created at 12.03 p.m. So this is my newer clip. It's also a larger file size and it has a longer length. And then this is my older clip from earlier, which is only 30 seconds long. So this is where I used the clip button and made that clip using the storage playback screen. The second one is where I searched for a motion detection event, and then I exported that whole motion detection event. Again, if I wanted to watch this clip, I would right click, open with. Again, you have to download VLC Media Player separately, but as long as it's on your computer, you can do open with VLC Media Player and play that back on your computer. Here I have the four minute clip you see this car is actually what probably made this motion detection event occur. And then we ha probably have a couple other cars coming through. There's another car. So each car that went past was going to make this motion detection event keep occurring until finally there was a long period of time where no cars went by and my clip ended.
Hopefully this video helps show you how to export clips from your DVR and NVR using the PC software over a local network. Thank you for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.